Let's get cooking in Hollywood Izzy. With Shane the Chef. And finally, add the swede and the carrots. And then into the oven. Great, Dad. I'm putting this on the Shane the Chef channel. You're pretty good at all this filming stuff, aren't you? I really like it. I've actually been thinking that maybe I should be a filmmaker. Like in Hollywood, you know, rather than a chef. Huh? A, f a filmmaker? You don't mind, do you? No, of course not. If that's what you want to do, then, then you should go for it. I knew you'd understand. I'm going to start filming right away. Yeah, you go enjoy yourself. Thanks, Dad. Uh, well, that caught me by surprise. I always thought Izzy would follow in my footsteps, didn't you? You're right, of course. I should be happy if she's doing what she loves. Right, I'd better get on with lunch. Broccoli quiche. Hi, everyone. I'm Izzy, and this is my film, Me and Munchington. This is my dad's restaurant, Fresh. Dad's thing is to serve the freshest food for all his customers. This is Sam Spratt. He's a local fisherman, and he supplies Dad's restaurant with lots of fresh fish. Make way for the mackerel! <laughs> he likes to tell stories. I'm not sure I believe all of them. Reminds me of the time I got caught in an ice storm in the North Atlantic. The only thing we could see was the flashing light of the lighthouse. And that's Eddie, Sam's dog. He may be cute, but he's always sniffing out trouble. <laughs> What are you doing, Izzy? Oh, hi, Jay. I'm making a film. I'm going to be a filmmaker, like in Hollywood. But what did your dad say? I thought you wanted to be a chef. Changed my mind. He's cool with it. Oh. Right, I think I have everything I need for the pastry base. Uh, yeah, I suppose I should film this myself, seeing as Izzy is in here. Right, let me just get this set up. Uh, it's not as much fun doing this on my own. Have you done anything else yet? I've got something on Mario and his mum. I'll show you. This is Mario. He's my best friend. He's mad about football. I'm very fussy about his food. But Dad always thinks he can persuade him to try something new. Look, Mama. It's just like the Italian flag. Mario's always hungry. I'm starving. Mario's mum is Mama Polenta. She's Italian and runs a local shop. Mario! Mario! There's always something there that Dad can use in his recipes. And she loves opera almost as much as she loves Mario. Mama! Mama. Oh, Mario! <laughs> I was so caught up in the music that you made me jump. <laughs> That's really cool, Izzy. Hello, you two. What are you up to? Izzy's making a film. Have you got anything on JG? Well, it's not finished. Go on, show me. OK, then. Just press play. This is JG, Dad's best friend. He lives in the lighthouse. He's an inventor and makes all sorts of cool stuff. My magnificent pronto peeler. JG thinks everything can be improved with a little tweak. Uh, it just needs a bit of a tweak. I'm back! You need a tweak! Ooh! <laughs> That's a bit embarrassing. And there you have it, a perfect pastry base. Izzy, could you help me with the filling for the broccoli quiche? Ah, uh, oh, I forgot. Hi, honey. Do you want to be in my film? Film, eh? Cool, why not? OK, just let me get you in the picture. That's it. Now, just say something about yourself. Action. Hi, I'm Honey. I love listening to my favourite band, The Malignant Wailers. Listen! Yeah. Um, some of that will work. I've got some film clips of my family. You can use them in your film if you like. There's a brilliant one of Dad falling over a chair. Look! And I'll be first in the queue. See you after band practice. Oh. Oops! <laughs> and check this one out. It's Mum chasing the donkey. Coming through, Sid! Oh. Donkey, slow down! Here's Jay with one of his fun facts. There are hundreds of seeds on every strawberry, so that means hundreds of plants and thousands of strawberries. 
And I think this one might be my favourite. It's Baby B. Sid? Uh. Classic. Thanks, honey. I can definitely use that. Hello? You're right, Shane. It's Maggie. I'm calling to let you know that my broccoli is finally ready. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant news, Maggie. I'll be right over. All right, Shane. See you soon. Oh, hey, Izzy. What are you doing here? I'm making a film about me and everyone in Munchington. Can I film you, please? Yeah. I'm not sure I'm very interesting, though. You'll be great. Oh, OK, then. <clears throat> Welcome to my farm, where I grow crops for Munchington and your dad. That's perfect. I can put those together with action shots of you. Look. Easy now. Ah! Maggie's great. She's always there to help out. This way, Shane! And she drives this tuk-tuk, which is awesome. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm not sure you've captured me at my best, but it is funny. Yay! Glad you like it. Have you shown your dad yet? Dad! I haven't filmed him yet. Don't worry. I think I've got a few clips. Sizzling saucepans. What's that? Whoa, oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Eddie! <laughs> Give those back! <gasps> this is one of my favourites. Thanks, Maggie. I think I have everything now. Hi, Izzy. What are you doing? I'm editing my film. Can I help? Of course. Here you go. Great. If I press that, then this, here we go. <laughs> Take a look at this. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant, Mario. Yeah, check these out as well. Mario! <laughs> Needs a bit of a twitch. Sizzling saucepan. <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't want to be a chef with ingredients like these? Oh yeah, Izzy. Dad, my film's finished. Do you want to see it? Absolutely. Can I have a look at it when I get back from the farm? I just need to pick up some broccoli. Sure, Dad. I'll put it up on the Shane the Chef channel. See how many likes it gets. Well, here it goes. Wow, Izzy, everyone loves your film. The internet's gone crazy. I didn't think it'd be this popular. People seem to really like Munchington. Well, it is, and look how busy it's got. Wow, I hope Dad gets home soon. Oh, here we go. I wonder what they want. your back. It's really buzzing out there. I'm going to need your help, Izzy. I've got a lot of broccoli quiche to make, thanks to your film. Of course, Dad. Let's get cooking. Good job, Izzy. Come here, you. Now, are you going to show me your film? Sure. I've been thinking. I think I do want to be a chef after all. Oh, that's great, Izzy. But there's no reason you can't do both. I suppose. Sorbet. Dad, shouldn't we be serving the customers? Sizzling saucepans. Yes, of course. I'll go take the orders. Uh, how about that, then? Yeah, you're right. Plenty of room for two chefs in this family. Be in shape, the chef. Let's get cooking in Food Festival. With Shave the Chef. <laughs> You're working hard, girls. Yeah, 
We're doing a food project for school. It's got to be in by tomorrow. Well, there's plenty of food inspiration here. There's Sam Spratt's fish, Mama Polenta's deli, Maggie's fruit and veg, of course, and let's not forget a certain restaurant run by a certain chef. Hmm, that's not a bad idea. We can make the project all about food from Munchington. Oh, good thinking. But think big. Why not get the whole town involved? Yes, everyone in town can have stalls showing off their wares. Oh, and we can have music and, and bunting? You mean like a food, food festival. festival? Now you're talking. And Dad, you can do a big cookery demonstration. Uh, wait. What? Yeah, I guess I could do that. Ah, there's a lot to do by tomorrow. OK, why don't I do all the decoration and posters? Good idea, and I'll organise the stalls. The Munchington Food Festival is on. How do you like my posters? This will draw the crowds. Brilliant, honey. Check out my plans for the food stalls. Mmm, they're OK, I guess. Oh, only OK? Look. I was thinking, Mama Polenta's stall could go here and Maggie's tuk-tuk there as normal. And Dad's demonstration could be in the middle. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. Well, let's get your posters up and we can talk about the plan later. Might be easier if I just make some changes. I had so many good ideas last night. Oh, did you? <laughs> Hey, Izzy, I've got those hair bales you asked for. Where do you want them? Oh, um, just there would be great. Thanks, Maggie. OK, no problem. Can you move, please, Izzy? <sighs> Did I just hear Maggie? Just the person I need to see. I'm after some inspiration for my cookery demonstration later. I want to do something unusual. Come and take your pick. I've got loads to choose from. Oh, look at these. Um. What are they, Dad? Pak Choi. You could cook them in so many ways. We're all ready to put up our stalls, honey. Here's the new plan, Izzy. You know what to do. I don't really know what was wrong with my plan. Here we go. This will look great. That's awesome. Hmm. I've been thinking. Let's move all of these stalls over to that end of the square. That end? But, honey, your new plan says this end. Well, I've changed my mind. It'll be better if we put the hay bale seats here. <sighs> Will it now? Have you put up those posters yet? I'm about to do that, actually. But first, let's get these stools moved. <sighs> Hi, Sam. You got any fresh fish for me today? I need something to go with Pak Choi. I've got some lovely turbot you might like. Oh, that one's a beauty, Sam. Ah! Sizzling dolphins. Oh. Testing. Ooh. Testing. Ooh. A one, two. Ooh. 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 Morning, Shane. Sam. Just testing out my old megaphone. I've made it extra loud. Yeah, so I can hear. Ah, JG, you've given me an idea. Mind if I borrow this? Hey. Get your turbo here. Fresh this morning. It's lovely. Well, I never. I've got some good tunes to play, Izzy. Every song's about food. Listen. There's only one finger like more than chips. A bass line a bit so I can move my hips. Brilliant, Mario. Oh, you needn't have bothered, Mario. I've already made a playlist for the festival. The malignant whalers will surely get them going. Actually, this is now totally in the wrong place. It needs to move over there. But, honey, the plan. The plan has changed. But be quick, as we haven't got long and you need to arrange the hay bales. Huh. I thought you were both organising the food festival. So did I. But, honey, it's totally taken over. It's my megaphone. But I've got to sell my fish, you see. You boys, always squabbling. Aha! This is just what I need. Olive oil! Olive oil! Ah. Yeah. Town in Tuscany. Now, look, it's my megaphone. <sighs> but I've got to sell my turbot. Turbot, catch your turbot. Yeah. Just a little bit further. Come on, Mario, and you, Izzy. 
Oh, it's all happening today. Right, I just need a few more of your delicious vegetables. Take your pick, Shane. Ooh. Fantastic. Hi, Dad. Hi, Izzy. What time will my demonstration start later? Why don't you ask Honey? She seems to be running this food festival herself. But I thought it was a team effort. It was supposed to be, but Honey's got other ideas. Maggie, I need you to move your tuk-tuk over there. But I always park it here. It's all in the plan, Maggie. Not in my plan. <gasps> Mr Mayor! Good afternoon, everyone. Oh, hello, Mr Mayor. You're just in time for our food festival. Yes, I'm here to perform the grand opening. Young Honey here asked me to do it. Another one of my brilliant ideas. Ugh. In that case, I'll begin. I prepared a short speech. <clears throat> a one I declare row. this food festival open. I... Ah, yeah. uh, there's no one here. You did tell everyone the festival was happening, didn't you? Of course. I clearly put lunchtime today on the posters. You mean these posters? Yes. Oh, no, I forgot about them. Oh, what have I done? It's what you haven't done that's the problem. No one will come if they don't know the festival is even happening. I'm sorry. I'm really, really, really sorry. Don't be so hard on yourself, honey. You just wanted the food festival to be a success. But I've been so bossy. I feel terrible. I'm sorry, Izzy. <laughs> oh, my fish are flesh. I'll have you know. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? If you're thinking what I think you're thinking, then yes! Roll up, roll up! Come to Munchington Food Festival! The Munchington Food Festival is taking place right now! Join us! Roll up, roll up! The Munchington Food Festival! I'll be there! Roll up, roll up! Quick, before it ends! Roll up, roll up! Come along! Yeah. Come, Come to Munchington Festival! These things, things are amazing! Oh, terrific turbot! Beat to it. Get down to the groove. What a brilliant festival! Well done, girls. Thanks, Mrs Singh. This is what I call teamwork. Good school project, both of you. Attention, attention! And now for the main event. Allow me to introduce... <laughs> Shane the Chef! Thank you, thank you. Gather round, everyone. Now, I want to show you what you can create from this wonderful vegetable. Pak choy. I've got peppers, Mama Polenta's olive oil, spring onions and ginger from Maggie's stall to make pak choy stir-fry. Mm. Oh, yummy. This will look great on the Shane the Chef channel. I've also got one of Sam's fresh turbot to steam with more of the pak choy. So, let's get cooking. Have it. Sam's delicious turbot steamed with pak choy, and finally a pak choy stir fry made with Mama Polenta's olive oil and Maggie's fresh vegetables. Job done. Come on, folks, tuck in. Great job, Dad. Mm. 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 Yeah. Yum. Shane, this is delicious. Something to really shout about. Uh, has anyone seen my megaphone? No. Nope. no. Sorry, JG. <laughs> oh, oh Eddie. Sounds better than Honey's music. Seriously? Shade <laughs> the Let's get cooking in Truffle Kerfuffle. With Shade the Chef. Morning, Maggie. Oh, are those the broad beans I ordered? Yes, Shane. There's rather a lot here, though. Did you want that many? Oh, yes. I've got a delicious recipe in mind. I just need to pick up a few special ingredients from Mama Polenta. Bye. 
Sizzling saucepans. What was that? Sorry, nearly got you, Shane. Here you go. Just off to play with Mario, Dad. OK, Izzy, have fun. Hello, Shane. Hiya, Mama Polenta. Can you help me? <laughs> of course, Shane. Oh, what do you need? Olive oil, Parmesan cheese and some special Arborio rice. Let me guess. You're making risotto. Yes, I am. Broad bean risotto. Broad bean? Oh, um. Bellissimo. Oh, and there's one more thing I need to finish it off with. Truffles. Oh, I'm afraid I'm all out of truffles. They're very difficult to get. Oh, what's a truffle when it's at all? A truffle, Sam, is a funny-looking fungus that grows in the ground. They look strange, but they taste delicious. They are very rare. What I really need is my own truffle pig. Truffle pig? Yes, Sam. Truffles are often found by a pig. Well, now I've heard everything. A truffle pig, eh? I bet my Eddie could find one of these truffles. He's got a nose like a bloodhound. What? No, 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 no. Everyone knows that pigs are the best truffle hunters. Oh, I'm sure Eddie could do it fine. Well, why don't you prove it? I bet Eddie won't find any. You're on. Ah, uh, well, I'll leave you to it. See you later. Bye, Shane. Bye. This will be full by the time I come back. <laughs> I believe it when I see it. Uh, hello, Shane. I hear you've got risotto on the menu tonight. Reserve me a table, won't you? No probs, JG. You seem tired. Yes, I've been up late. Stargazing. Shane, I was thinking, would you like to come truffle hunting with me and Eddie? Uh, sorry, Sam. Shelling these beans is going to keep me busy all afternoon, I'm afraid. Oh, that's a shame. I could do with some help. I wouldn't know what a truffle looked like even if Eddie did find one. Did you say truffle? Oh, I love a bit of truffle on a risotto. <gasps> me too. You must go with Sam, Shane. Find that truffle. Leave these broad beans to me. Really? Are you sure? Quite sure. An afternoon shelling beans will help me focus. After my, ooh, late night. Well, what can I say? Thanks, JG. Happy shelling. Right then. Time to show Mama Polenta how good that nose of yours really is, Eddie. <laughs> Give him a sniff of the jar to get the scent of the truffle. Right you are. That's it, Eddie. Find us a truffle. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's got the scent already. That was a close one. <laughs> oh, Eddie. Oh, 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 Come back. Yeah. Oh. Hmm? Hiya, Sid. Hiya, Jay. What are you doing here? Bird watching. We're looking for a redneck phalaro. And Eddie's just run off with our lunch. Eddie, stop. Drop it. I'm sorry about that. By the way, I think I saw a, what did you call it? A red-necked fill and rope bird thingy. Flew in that direction. What? Come on, Jay. All righty -o. Beautiful plumage. Oh, these beans are so so lovely. Their pods are so soft. Ah, like a pillow. Oh, come on, JG. Keep it together. Ooh, focus. Stay awake. Ah, let's have a little song. Five little beans sitting in a shell. When Shane cooks with them, Delicious they will smell. We won't make a mess. The floor won't need a sweep. Just as long as I stay away and don't fall asleep. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> okay, Eddie, let's try this again. Here, smell this, Eddie. Aha. Here we go. Oh, here they come. Brilliant. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. oh, this must be it. Here we go. I don't think this is right, Sam. Truffles don't grow in open ground, they grow under trees. Don't worry, Shane. Eddie knows what he's doing. Catch, is he? Hey! Oh, that's mine. Eddie, give it here. <laughs> Eddie, stop. Eddie. Oh, no. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yuck. What are you doing here, Dad? We are truffle hunting. <laughs> Ooh, how many have you found? Ooh, how, how, ooh, how many? L let me see. Uh, um, um, uh, none. None? But we're not giving up. Oh, no, come on. Bye. Mm. Oh, oh, no sleeping on the job. Well, now I'm stumped. Not even a sniff of a truffle this time. Ah, uh, it's just not happening, is it? And I was sure that Eddie could do it. Ah, uh, don't worry. It's not your fault or Eddie's. The risotto we'll just have to do without. Come on, Eddie. No more playing games. Eddie! Eddie, hey, come back! <laughs> Eddie, bad dog. Now, come on. <laughs> oh, I think there's something here. Hang on. Hey, uh, it's... Whoa, I got it. Whoa! That is a truffle. Woohoo! Big one, too. That's what we've been hunting for. Why, it looks like a great big. Sam! It is a real beauty, though. Well done, Eddie. <laughs> JG, we're back. And with a big, beautiful truffle. How did you get on with those. Uh, broad beans? Uh, JG? JG! Oh, calamity! What, what are you all doing in my room? Oops! <laughs> I must have dozed off before I um, finish the beans. I'm sorry, Shane. <laughs> Don't worry, JG. We'll all work together to get them shelled, won't we? Aye, aye! All hands on deck! Let's get shelling and cooking! <laughs> That. It's almost perfect. Back of the oven. So, did you find the truffle or not? Ooh. Here we are. Broad bean risotto. Ooh, truffle snuffle. Um, uh, uh. Oh, yummy, yummy. I don't see any truffle. <laughs> I told you, a pig is best at truffle hunting. Would Madam care for a shaving of... Fresh truffle? Oh, you found one. And look at the size of it. Yep, Eddie found it. Mamma mia! Eddie, I take it all back. You are a fine truffle hunter. Oh. He is, isn't he? I told you. Don't gloat, Sam. Oh. Perhaps you and Eddie could take me truffle hunting sometime. I think I, I mean, Eddie would like that, Mama Polenta. An enormous truffle! <laughs> 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 oh. Let's get cooking in Salad from Outer Space. With Shane the Chef. So today's menu is going to be something amazing. Something people have never seen before. I think people have seen a fish. But have they seen this? This is a vegetable called kohlrabi. I'm going to turn it into a delicious salad. It'll go great with fish. Oh, yes. Interesting. <gasps> Aliens. Ooh. Wow. That is weird looking. <gasps> it looks like it's from another planet. Oh, no. Aliens. Come on. 
Let's go to Maggie's farm. We need a load more of these. <gasps> I'm telling you, no one in this town will be able to resist. Uh oh. Ah! Whoa! Hey, Jay, watch out! Mario, you'll never believe this. I think. I think. I've discovered aliens from another planet. Here, in Munchington. Look! Jay, that's just a comic. But I've seen one with my own eyes. They come from outer space and they control your mind. Come on, I'll show you. OK. Oh, thank you so much, Maggie. Oh, it's my pleasure. Wow, there are so many of them. See what I mean? The aliens are everywhere. It's just a vegetable patch. <sighs> look. They kind of look the same, but... Shh, I need to hear what Shane's saying. OK, then. Let's get these back to the restaurant. I'm glad they've found a home. It says in here that the aliens move into your home, then they control your mind and turn you into a slave. But Shane doesn't look like he's... Ooh, so beautiful. <gasps> Uh-oh! I think they got Shane. What happens next? They tell him to do what they command. Well, these little fellas are telling me they're ready to be picked. <gasps> they got Maggie too. Ooh. Come on, then. <gasps> and Dizzy! They're making them pick them up and put them in the boxes. What happens next? I don't know. I haven't read that far. Uh, um... Hurry up. Ah! Uh, then the aliens take over the whole town. Everybody in town is going to love this. Um... Watch out! Who are you? Jay, I can't believe it. But you were right about the aliens. Ah, uh, alien slime! Ah, uh, ah! Uh, I can't pull my foot up. They got me! Ah, uh, get off! Ah, uh, it's on me! Don't be silly. Your shoe's just stuck in the mud. Yeah. <laughs> I knew that. Paul! Uh, come on, Mario! Uh. Yuck! I've got mud on my trainers. Forget about that. We've got to save Munchington from the aliens. Right, well, we've got plenty of kohlrabi. Shall we use apples in the salad? Yes, let's pick some tarragon from your herb garden. We'll need that too. Look, the aliens. Let's get there. Huh? What's that noise? It's coming from the kitchen. Sizzling saucepans. The kohlrabi. It's gone. Hey, look. Muddy footprints. Huh? But who would steal kohlrabi? Uh, I'm not sure. Something weird's going on. Come on, Dad. Let's follow them. Here we go. Let's follow it. Mama Polenta. Oh, hello, Shane. Hello, Izzy. Uh, yeah, this might seem strange, but... We've been following these muddy footprints, but they stop here. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Mario and his muddy shoes. He makes a, such a mess. Is Mario here now? Not anymore. He and Jay ran in with a big box, took some aluminium foil, salt and some string. What for, I don't know. Do you know where they went? Yes, the town hall. Hmm. OK, it's tied down tight. You won't be getting inside our heads. Not while we're wearing these foil hats. You won't get anything from my mind. We know where you and your friends are from. And we know about your plan to take over our town and turn us into slaves. Go back to your planet and leave us alone, OK? Hmm. 
He's playing it cool. We have to show him we really mean it. Double check about the salt water. Yup, salt water makes him dematerialize. Okay, my alien friends, these are filled with salt water. And we're not afraid to use them. Now go back to outer space where you belong. Ah! Jay? Mario? Uh, what's going on? Shay! Izzy! Hat! Uh... Okay. You've got to put these foil hats on. You've just got to. Trust us, it's your only hope. Okay. Woohoo! We did it! In your face! You're free now! Free! Ah, uh, okay. What are you doing with my kohlrabi? They're aliens! From outer space! They made you their slaves! With brain control! They're going to take over the whole town! And the whole world! It's all right here! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> are they okay? It's too early to tell. Boys, I wasn't being brain controlled. I was just trying to make a salad. And kohlrabi isn't an alien from another planet. It's just a funny looking vegetable. A vegetable that the whole town is looking forward to trying at my restaurant. Look, kohlrabi, a vegetable frequently used in salads. But, but, we thought it was, and you were. Yeah, um, I knew that. Well, I tell you what, come with me and I'll show you what I can do with your alien friends. Sorry about that. Right, so we've got apples, spring onions, tarragon, pumpkin seeds, walnut oil, lemon, and our good old friend, kohlrabi. Let's get cooking. There you have it. Delicious alien, well, I mean, kohlrabi salad. All right, mm. yo. Oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm, yeah. Wow, mm. it tastes... Out of this world! <laughs> <laughs> OK, everybody, fresh fish. Thank you, Sam. No worries, Jim. And to go with it, kohlrabi salad. Amazing! Oh. Oh, delicious! Oh, yummy. Oh, it's delicious. And then, Jay thought the kohlrabi were aliens from outer space. Of course I knew they weren't, but Jay, he's just a kid. <laughs> Here we go. Um, um, mm. I mean, salad from outer space. <laughs> That's funny. Ah! Whoa! Ah! Mama, save me! <laughs> oh, Jay! <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, no! Shave the Let's get cooking in Cook Off! With Shave the Chef! Ah, oh, look at you. You're getting so big. Ah! Oh. You're a bit dry. I'm going to have to give you more water. Yoo-hoo! Anyone there? Oh, buongiorno, Izzy. I've got the pasta flour your dad asked for. Hi, Mama Polenta. That's great. How do you like my basil plants? Oh, oh, it smells gorgeous, Izzy. It goes well with pasta, too. Uh-huh. I'll water them later. Dad's in the kitchen. I'm going to film him making fresh pasta. Ah, perfect timing, Mama Polenta. I'm ready to make the pasta dough. I love pasta. Mm, me too. <laughs> ready to roll, Izzy. Ready and 
Recording. Hello everyone. Welcome to the Shane the Chef channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to make the perfect pasta. I mix flour and eggs just like this. Then combine it by hand to work it into a dough. Ahoy there! I've got today's delivery. Oh, Sam. I'll finish filming later, Daz. Oops, <laughs> sorry about that. I didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> no problem, Sam. Oh, looks like you've had a busy morning. Oh, aye. The early bird catches the worm. Or in this case, the shellfish. Ooh. What's that you're making? Pasta. You know, it would be delicious with my special bolognese sauce. Oh, no. Seafood is best with pasta. What sauce are you making, Dad? Uh, I'm not sure. Probably something simple and fresh to show off the pasta. But well, my recipe is so rich and tasty. Ah, but you can't beat freshly caught seafood. But mine is a true Italian recipe. And mine is straight from the sea to the plate. Can't beat it. Yes, I can. No, he can't. Hey, let's have a cook-off in the town square. You'll have one hour, and then the customers can pick the winning dish to go on the menu at Fresh. Oh, Mamma Mia, but I couldn't. It would be too easy. <laughs> you what? With my quality seafood? I don't think so. Only a true Italian can make the perfect pasta sauce. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, ta -da! Whoops! <laughs> Oh! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to love my bolognese, everyone. <laughs> Wait till you've tried my seafood pasta. One time, I fed it to the pirate Longbeard. Of course, he still wanted me to walk the plank. Uh... And there we have it. Taglatelli pasta. Nice one, Dad. The Shane the Chef channel viewers will love to learn to make pasta. Great, but I hope we've made enough. We're going to be needing extra helpings today. Uh, Dad, I think we've got plenty of pasta now. Oh, <laughs> yeah, OK, you're right. Come on, then. Let's go and see how the competition is heating up. You go ahead. I'm going to water my basil. Give it to me, Sam! But I need it. No, I do. Give that to me. That is mine. Uh-oh. Whoa there. There's plenty of pans for both of you. This one's for you, Sam. And this one's for you, Mama Polenta. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> oh, blooming onions. Always making me cry. Oh, oh. Are you sad at the thought of losing, Sam? <laughs> no, crying for you, because you're going to be in floods of tears when my seafood sauce steals the day. Your mum and Sam are hilarious. This is way better than TV. <laughs> I know. Hey, where's Izzy? She's missing all the fun. Uh... I'm going to find her. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. <gasps> Izzy, are you in here? There you go. Here's that drink I promised you. You're very thirsty, aren't you? Uh, ah, whoa. Maybe a little bit. Oh, um, hi, Mario. You gave me a fright. Who are you talking to? Oh, my plants. It's supposed to help them grow. What kind of plants are they? Basil. This one's ready to pick. What for? To eat. Basil tastes great with pasta. Uh, but it's green. It's really tasty. Honest, it smells great. Here, take a sniff. It smells pretty good for a plant, but I'm not sure about eating it. Mmm. Cooked good and proper, that is. Mm. Now that tastes like a winner to me. Delicioso! Ah! Hmm, what's that? 
some chili pepper. The finishing touch. Oh, I think I'll add some of that too. Hang on, that's my finishing touch. I think I'll add some more. Me too. Fine. Well, I'll put a bit more in then. Well, so will I. Uh, stop! That's probably enough chili. There's only ten minutes left on the clock now. Ten minutes! <gasps> oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> oh, 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 and don't forget to water it. Ten, nine, eight. Quick! Seven, the cook-off is about to finish. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Step away from your sauces. <laughs> Stop cooking. Um, excuse me. Nope. Sorry about that. <gasps> Sorry. Okay. Seeing as the winning sauce will be served in the restaurant. I should have the first taste. And I, uh, uh, I can't wait. Oh, oh, that is, that is hot. That, that, that's, that is hot. Sizzling spicy sauce buns. Well? What do you think? Just taste them. Why? There's nothing wrong with my dish. Oh! Water! Water! What are we going to feed all these people? Oh. We can't give them this. Dad, I can make a simple pasta sauce that I think everyone will like. Can you get the basil, Mario? Yeah, I'll be right back. Here you go, Izzy. Parmesan, pine nuts, garlic. And the basil. Perfect. You grate the parmesan, Dad. I'll grind everything else together in this. Let's, Let's get, get cooking. Basil pesto sauce. Mmm, delicious. Pesto pasta, all round, please, Izzy and Mario. There you are. Oh, mmm, mamma mia, so fresh. And so simple, too. Genius. Thanks. Sometimes simple is best. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. 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 Who knew leaves could taste this good? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mario. Shape the chef. Let's get cooking in Potluck Christmas. With Shave the Chef. Oh, Shane, I think it's a brilliant idea. A festive meal for everyone on the night before Christmas. It's going to be a feast. Alf's delivering the turkey later today. And here's the vegetable order. It's quite a long list. I see what you mean. Whew. Is that everything? I think so. No, wait. Brussels sprouts. OK, although I'm not sure anyone really likes them. <laughs> oh, well, I love sprouts. You could do so much with them. But I should be getting back. Alf's not the only delivery I'm waiting for today. All the Christmas presents I ordered are coming too. My presents are also being delivered today. <laughs> Whoops. Baggy, <laughs> not you as well. I'll load everything up and I'll be right over. Thanks, Maggie. I'll see you soon. Snow? For Christmas? <gasps> now that would be lovely. Look, I got Ooh. it, I got it. Oh, no. Got one. Hello, you lot. This is great, isn't it? I hope it keeps on snowing. I'd love a white Christmas. I don't know about white Christmas, but... I'm dreaming of presents. 
Lots of presents. <laughs> Christmas is about more than presents, Mario. Hey, Dad. Got the veg? Maggie's bringing it over. You should see her Brussels sprouts. They look fantastic. Sprouts? Oh, yuck. Oh, no. Sizzling saucepans. What a let down. What? Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Shane, Shane, I've just had the most terrible news. Me too. Well, you're not the only one. It's my online order for everyone's Christmas presents. This text says they won't arrive till after Christmas. Due to heavy demand... And difficult weather conditions. I don't believe it. You all ordered your presents at the last minute as well. I'm afraid so. Just ran out of time. Oh, I've just been so busy. Well, I'm a very busy fisherman, you know. No need to panic, everyone. Now, I've spent the last seven days taking detailed weather readings using an array of forecasting equipment. It clearly shows only a light snowfall, which will quickly melt, so the roads will be clear. Uh oh. Say something. Hey, I, 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 maybe I should check my settings. Oh, no. I was supposed to be delivering the turkey for tonight's feast. <gasps> That's it. My Alf can go to the delivery centre and pick up all our presents. Phew. I think you might have just saved Christmas. Come on inside, everyone. This calls for some hot chocolate. Oh, oh dear. I don't like the look of this. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, no! Oh, no, my veg boxes. Oh, where are they? Good stuff. Amazing. Very well, caro mio. I understand. That was Alf. He got to the delivery centre okay, but now all the roads are blocked by snow. Oh, oh no. no. No, Dad. That's it, then. This means no presents, which means no Christmas. Don't worry. I can still make a cracking Christmas feast just with Maggie's veg. Uh, where is Maggie? Oh, just the person. Hello, Maggie. We were just talking about you. Where are the... What happened? Oh, no. Are you hurt? Oh, thank goodness. Well, stay right where you are. We're on our way. OK, everybody. Let's go. Maggie's counting on us. Aha! My veg! Maggie! Oh, Maggie, where are you? Can you hear us? It has got the scent of something. Oh, I can't see anything. Maggie! Oh, Eddie! Am I glad to see you? Oh, and we're glad to see you. Thank goodness you're OK. Oh, I'm fine. But the veg boxes were thrown out when the tuk-tuk crashed. I've only found this one so far. We've got to find the rest. Oh, I don't know, Maggie. The snow's getting really heavy now. And my seaweed is totally frozen. Look, we should be getting back. Sam's right. Let's just take this box and go. Phew. Ah, wonder what's in it. Sprouts? <gasps> Everybody hates sprouts. They're just so... sprousy. I have to admit, Mario's got a point. To be perfectly honest, oh, I've never liked them. Sprouts? I love them! Never used to mind until I got a job in Belgium on the world's biggest sprout farm. Sprouts for breakfast, lunch and dinner it was. Although they don't half make... Yep, thank you, Sam. And you're right. Sprouts can be very tasty. I'll show you. Oh, not on their own, surely. OK, everyone. Go home, take a look in your store cupboards, see what you can find. We're going to have a Christmas Eve potluck feast you'll never forget. Right, what have you got? some pancetta ham and parmesan cheese. I caught these prawns only this morning. The last of this season's honey. Oops. Hmm. I've been meaning to do something with this jasmine rice for ages. Yep, 
and we've got an onion, garlic... And some cream. So, Dad, what's next? Well, I think you know, Izzy. Let's get cooking! Drizzler balsamic vinegar and Penny's delicious honey, and we've got oven roasted Brussels sprouts with honey and bacon. And that's not all. There's cream Brussels sprouts with caramelised onions and a sprout and prawn stir fry. Here you go, everyone. A Christmas potluck feast. Mmm. Oh, that does smell delicious. <laughs> yeah, but it still sprouts. Don't tell me you're scared of a little old sprout. Scared? Me? No way. Mmm. Mmm. OK, that's not too bad. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tasty. Oh. Mario, what's wrong? I thought you liked the food. I do. Even if it's made out of sprouts. I just wish Dad could be here. Me too, me bambino. Me too. Dad! Yay! Yay the presents! That's my elf! He always finds a way to come home. This is my science kit. I can feel it. This better be the new album from the Malignant Whalers. Thanks, Alf. Sid, are you sure you can carry all those? Of course. I'll be fine. Whoa! <laughs> Well, that's the last of the presents. Now, have you got my... Oh! <laughs> Turkey! Thanks, Alf. Mm -hmm. Now I've got everything I need for my Christmas Eve feast. What about all those tasty sprout dishes? Well, they're good enough to eat on their own. Tell you what, why don't I cook this turkey on Christmas Day? Christmas dinner for the whole town. That would be wonderful, Shane. We can find the rest of the veg tomorrow. Of course. I can't think of a better way to celebrate Christmas Day than a meal with everyone you love. Aww, Aww, lovely. Dad. <gasps> no way. Guess what I've just seen? Hooray! <laughs> 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 wow. It's just Dad. There he goes, off on another delivery. So much to do tonight. <laughs> but he can't be. Can he? <laughs> <laughs> 